Welcome to the Early On. My name's Kathy, and I'm a resource consultant at Lansdowne Children's Center. Today, I'm going to share with you some outdoor activities supporting a toddler's physical literacy. Physical literacy means the child develops a wide variety of fundamental movement skills that support lifestyle and all the physical, cognitive, emotional, and social benefits that go with it. The toddler age child should be active at least 180 minutes a day in a variety of environments to help different skills develop. Sometimes your child might get some bumps and bruises while playing outside. This is a normal part of outdoor play and these worries should not keep you from exploring and getting active outdoors. Why not as a family join in some outdoor activities with your toddler? Cruisers. It is the fun stage when they learn to pull themselves up and cruise on around holding onto furniture. Push toys are a good way for toddlers to learn walking with support. Outdoors, you can use a laundry basket or a large weighted box for them to push around. Obstacle courses are fun. The cruising or walking child can crawl on, under, or over objects such as boxes, blankets, chairs, any safe items that you can find outside. Little children love music and movement. Put on music and dance around the yard. Ribbon dancing is always a fun way to encourage movement. Use a small scarf or streamers. The child can dance, move, march, wave their ribbons. Encourage the children to wave their ribbons high, low, fast, slow, or in zigzags. Balancing is another fun activity. You can use sidewalk chalk to create a balance line. The children can move along the balance line by walking, jumping like a frog, or hopping like a bunny. A music parade. Children love to make noise. Go outside and have a parade using instruments. If you don't have instruments, then you can use pots and wooden spoons or take a dry plastic bottle, add rice or pasta, and you have a shaker. The whole family can have an instrument. Bowling is another fun activity. You don't need real pins. You can use empty plastic bottles and a ball or a pair of rolled up socks. Now you have a bowling set. Balls are lots of fun. Balls can be used for catching, rolling, hitting, and kicking. Set up large targets to throw the balls at or kick the balls at. You can use things such as laundry baskets or buckets. Bubbles are always a popular item. If you don't have solution, you can use dish soap. No bubble wands? Well, that's easy to solve. Go through your kitchen utensil drawer and find a slotted spoon or strainer. I'm using a cake tester and dish soap. And they make perfect bubbles. Blow bubbles close to the child so they can reach and catch the bubbles. It's fun to watch the children chase after them and the look on their faces when the bubble lands and pops on them. Toddlers love scavenger hunts. Hide larger items such as plastic eggs, plastic bottles around the yard and let them go find them. Going for a walk is good exercise for everyone. While you're on your walk, you can talk about the colors and shapes around you, let the children collect rocks, leaves, and interesting treasures, and make a collage when you get home. Water is like a toddler magnet. Get two buckets or large containers, fill them with water, place them apart. Using a cup, let the child transfer the water back and forth between the buckets. For a bit of a challenge, Use a smaller cup to transfer the water. If it's been raining, dress for the weather. Let them wear their rubber boots and raincoat and go puddle jumping. Fill a bucket or pail with water and using a paintbrush or pastry brush, the children can paint items outside like the fence, bricks, pavement, or even the trees. 
Encourage running games outdoors, such as chase or tag. Play musical movement games like row, row, row your boat or the hokey pokey. Follow the child's lead. Let them come up with their own games. Learning doesn't always have to be adult driven. I hope you are able to enjoy some quality family outdoor time using some of these suggestions. Thank you for joining our early on parent information session today. A resource consultant from the Early Integration Program is available to talk to you should you want more information, support, or to discuss any concerns or questions you may have. Please contact us by email at eip at lansdownecc.com or by phone at 519-753-3153. Ask reception if you can speak to a resource consultant.